nerves. The first thing that goes are the, uh, the basic skills. In the context of things that we've seen earlier on, where I think it no might attempt. have been a yard out from where the ball maybe should have been played from, if that, and to overturn it. Yes, I'm surprised. Too harsh at that. for me. Yeah. <laughs> So I've done something really fun here. I took a freeze frame of exactly the spot where the attacker picks up the <clears throat> rolling ball on the self pass. And then I overlaid that with a picture of the players who were involved when the foul occurred. And I lined it up as precisely as I could so that we could get a good idea of exactly what the distances are between the two events. As I'm sure all of you at home know, the distance between the dotted line and the 23 meter line is about 3.3 meters, since the dotted line is five meters away from the top of the circle, which is 14.63 meters. Now, fun fact, something that you might not know, that under the field specifications of the rules of hockey, the distance between the dotted lines is three meters. The actual length of a dot of a dotted line is 0.3 meters. So you've got about 3.3 meters over the whole span of a segment of the dotted line. Now, when you chart out where the two incidences occur, you've got, let's say generously, the ball taken one meter inside the 23 meter line. It's probably a bit more than that. You add another five meters or less between where those two things happened because it's about the span of a dotted line and a half. And then you add another meter because the ball's taken about that far inside the dotted line and you've got adding up to too much. If you're a defender in this situation, you're gonna be really upset if a free hit is allowed to be taken around seven meters away from where an incident occurred. So the umpire in this situation is quite right to step in and make an intervention, especially in the fourth quarter of a game where such a play is extraordinarily vital. So in order to give yourself the best opportunity to handle this situation correctly, remember that a big part of your free hit routine should include mentally marking exactly where the spot of the foul is as best as you can, and then calculating where five meters away from that point will be. That gives you the chance to be proactive with the attackers as to where you want the ball to be placed so that you don't have to have a retake of the situation. And you can be proactive with the defenders in backing them off to an appropriate five meter distance. 